Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is an express haul and I took advantage of their 40% off store-wide sale last week and got this box here and it's pretty much bursting out of the seams. They have so much in here. So let's find out what's in this box. Check that out. That is like crammed in there. So this is a lavender colored t-shirt and it is a muscle tee. Actually, it looks kind of enormous. This is a medium. It is a very soft cotton. The color is what attracted me to it. And it is, oh, okay, okay. Oh, these are gonna be gorgeous, I hope. So these are a pair of super high rise paper bag shorts. They are black, of course. I got a size six. It has pockets in the back, which are not real. Or, yeah, they're totally not real, if you can see that but that's okay and they look like they're a nice length so I am so excited to try these on all right so here are the black shorts and they are absolutely darling they are definitely a super high rise just like they say because yeah my belly button is all the way down here so they are so super cute I love the pleats going on here it is just such a really beautiful feminine design it is so flattering I absolutely love it Again, I love this type of you know large leg opening here because it's super flattering when it doesn't hug the leg that tightly. Yes, I'd say they are a little on the short side. I think they're still very, very flattering, very elegant and sophisticated. Pairing it with this lilac muscle tee, this is very flattering. I love this little pleated design here. It is a little roomy, but not that oversized, so I do feel like it still has a little bit of a fitted look to it. I mean, it's not hugging me, but it does have a very flattering look to it. And I love that the armholes are not that big. I hate it when the bra shows under here like that so this arm opening is just right as well all in all I'm really happy with this top and these shorts okay so next up we have a pair of jeans and these here are a very light wash which is perfect for this season oh they're definitely flared I mean look at how that's like totally flaring out they're extremely extremely stretchy flare high rise okay and I got the six regular hopefully they fit you know I do like to wear heels I would love it if they brush against the floor I was curious if maybe I should get the tall so I could wear them with heels I am 5'7 for reference they actually don't look as high rise as other jeans I have but it doesn't look like it's a very big rise hopefully they do at least come up at my belly button or slightly higher because that is very ideal that's where I want it to be I'm not crazy about the stretch because I do like the jeans to be a little bit more on the rigid side. The stretch, honestly, I think it can make you look a little bit heavier than what you look like. In all honesty, that's not my favorite. I do love the flare, so let's see what they look like. They are definitely high rise. They hit me right exactly at the navel, so they are perfect up there. And fit wise, I think they fit very well. I'm not crazy about all the elastane in them. I'm worried about them stretching out out over time so again let me know in the comments if you have experienced express jeans to stretch over time when they do have a lot of elastane in them whether it's throughout the day or in long term let me know I really want to find out what kind of long-term experience I might expect with these but and another issue I have with these is I think they're a little too short this is the regular size and I would really only wear flares with my tall heels and these are my tallest heels and I think if I did go up to the long they would brush against the floor ever so beautifully and just be much more fitting I do not like to pair my flares with flats because I think it could look a little frumpy that way. I think it is much more lengthening and elongating to have the flare be all the way down to the ground um, and not bunch up or anything. Like if these were, see like, let me take my shoe off. So see if I were wearing a flat, it's like bunching up at the ground there and it just does not look as flattering as when I'm in a heel. So I think heels are the way to go. I would lengthen it to a long. And yeah, aside from finding out what the stretch issue is on these kind of jeans, I think they're beautiful. This wash is really great for spring and summer. I think the tush is doing a good job there. These are really wonderful, but yeah, let me know what you think of these and what you think of Express jeans in general. Okay, so this, I'm excited to try this on because I love a asymmetrical styles and I see my husband cringing in the back because he's not crazy about asymmetrical styles but I do love them 
nonetheless, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, this is a size medium. It's this gorgeous chocolate brown. It has a lot of stretch in it. I think this is going to look really, really sexy. I cannot wait to try this on. Next up is another pair of shorts. They're called Shorty Super High Rise. They're very pretty. They look to be a little thin. Definitely might have a little see-through issue there. Probably need to wear nude undergarments just so that you don't have all your VPLs showing. They look very lovely. I love these types of shorts. Okay, let's talk about this asymmetrical top. First things first, I love it. And it is very stretchy and very fitted. So that is wonderful. I don't think I dare not wear a bra with it. So I am wearing my conventional bra but I have this strap just tucked into my bra here so you can't even notice it. But other than that, it is completely concealed and I really love that, so that is a very good thing. I am definitely feeling vacation vibes in this outfit because it is definitely kind of a very resort feel. And let's talk about these shorts, which I'm absolutely in love with as well. They fit me like a glove. They're absolutely perfect here at the waist. I love the length of them. Not too long, not too short. Just right, like Goldilocks would say. And I love the width of this opening here. Like I hate it when shorts are skin tight like this against the leg. It's so unflattering. So having that little bit of room there, I think just really helps give your legs a little bit more of a slimmer appearance so that it's always always flattering it's something to look out for for sure and you know a little loose on the bum but that's okay because I think they are a little see-through so you don't want them hugging your bum all that much I think they're great for vacation for every day I think they have a very elegant look to them I mean wear them out to dinner wear this out to dinner I think it's gorgeous so this is a really wonderful look and yeah another winner these are ankle high-rise the navy trousers so these are gorgeous navy color. I mean, this is this is a stunning blue color. Pretty sure these are fake pockets also. Yes, fake pockets in the back, real ones in the front with some pleating detail. They are, I'm pretty sure they're ankle length. They have a nice taper. These remind me just from looking at them, kind of like those red Zara trousers that I'm totally obsessed with. If you missed that video, I showed you how to style it in nine different ways. I'll link that down below. I, I think after watching this video, you would definitely be into red because it, it, they were so fun to style so check that out but let's see what these look like I, I'm, I'm loving them just in first impression okay so here are the gorgeous navy pants and I am obsessed I think they are absolutely stunning they fit absolutely beautifully I love this detail here in the front and the pockets the length of them are really really perfect I just I, I just love them fit great on the bum they're really beautiful they're a nice high waist they're my belly button is just like an, an inch below here, like right here. So really great, nice high rise. Paired it with this Zara cropped t-shirt, which I love red and blue combos red and navy like this. I just love how it looks and I toned it all down with just some nude colored accessories. This is an express bag actually that they have currently. I just picked it up in the last haul I did and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It also comes in black. They are so slouchy and gorgeous and really, really chic. I love them. And these are Vince Camuto heels, which are a perfect dupe for a Bottega Lido sandal. And I love them. They are a nice, cute little height. A little tricky to walk in if I may say so myself, but I'm getting used to them. <laughs> I'm so happy with these. Express is doing very, very well. Okay, I don't even think I've made a dent in this box yet. So this is a dress. This is like a t-shirt dress kind of with like the shoulder pads here. And it has a good little opening here on the sleeves. It's pretty long. I think it's definitely gonna be a midi length. And it has a belt here that you can change out. It has a nice soft material. It's a cotton or cotton blend of some sort. It has the one slit on the side here. All right, so here is the t-shirt dress. And I'm very happy with it. I think it's very elegant and casual at the same time. These shoulder pads are ever just so padded perfectly for not making me feel like a linebacker and I love how it helps kind of taper into the waist to give me a little bit more of a waist that I don't really have otherwise I would say the length is just a little bit too long for me I don't mind it hitting at the knee it's much better than hitting it at the calf because I'm not crazy about midi dresses but I do wish it was just hitting me right there um, I think that would be 
a little bit more flattering and elongating on the silhouette. Also, I do wish that the slit was maybe two inches longer. I mean, it would still look very classy and sophisticated, even if it was just a little bit longer there, because I don't think this slit is really doing much for me anyway. As far as the belt, you can definitely change this out for whatever you like. I think what a good idea to do is to kind of pull the dress up like this a little bit over the belt, whatever you have on, and there you've instantly kind of shortened your dress a little bit so I think that's really cute and it kind of gives this more of a baggy appearance like almost like it's a top and a skirt instead of a full dress so I think that's really flattering yeah I think wearing it like this I'm a little bit happier with it but all in all I think this is a wonderful dress okay so these are like a very faint is it pink or is it just my eyes? I think it's pink. <laughs> they are an ankle high rise. They're probably very similar to the navy ones. They have pockets in the front. Of course, these in the back are faux. I think they're beautiful. Okay, ladies, these are the kind of blush pink trousers and I'm really, really in love with them. I do think they are absolutely stunning. Ooh, as I fall over there. <laughs> I love where they hit me at the ankle and I love that they're tapered down there like that. You can absolutely wear these to the office for work look. I love wearing them on a casual basis. Like I would just wear this every day. I mean, this is just, I love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is just the Zara top that I threw on with it. Yeah, I mean, I love these. I think they're really stunning and they fit beautifully. Okay, moving on. I think this is just a basic tee here, which is most likely like the black one I had, yeah. Also huge here. All right, we have another pair of jeans. Okay, oh, these look like fun. So these are slim, super high rise. I have them in the six regular. They are kind of a medium wash and they have distressing here at the knees, both knees. They are a raw edge at the bottom with some additional distressing, like it's been torn up a little bit. And the back, a little bit of distressing on the pockets and nothing on the rest of the jeans. They are super high rise, which definitely they show. I mean, look how long that rise is there. That's like a lot. <laughs> so that's always good. Really, really stretchy. That's not something I'm crazy about, like I said before. All right, so here is the muscle tee, or I'm not quite sure what Express calls it. And if you saw my mango haul, which I just recently posted, I'll leave a link down for you below. I had a muscle tee from Mango on there, and I really did not like it whatsoever. I just felt like a linebacker but this one I think is a lot better executed I feel like this little ruching here helps it a lot I don't think the pads are nearly as thick as the mango pads were I love this neutral color and it comes in multiple colors as far as I know so I'd almost even get this in, you know, a lot more of the other colors. All right, now let's talk about these pants. They are super high rise is what they're labeled and I have to agree they are quite super high rise because my belly button is probably like equivalent to about over here. So it is a nice inch or so above my belly button, which I absolutely love. I do have a little bit of a shorter torso, I think. I don't really think I'm qualified as a long top torso. They are pretty high up, like here's my bra and here's where the pants are, so not much room there, but that's okay. I really love that type of fit. Uh, the only thing that is bothering me, which I mentioned before, is the excessive stretch in these. I do think it's just not that flattering. I'm just not crazy about it. I just think they're gonna really stretch out during the day. I do like the fit of them right now, but I've only been wearing them for about five minutes, so I'm not quite sure how they're gonna last. Aside from that, I really like them. I love this distressed look because it's subtle. I, I love it. It's edgy. It has a little bit of an edginess to it. It's really, really cool. And I like where they're hitting me down at the ankle, so these are the regular size. I mean, I'm very happy with this outfit. All right, so the next item is a blazer. And I've heard lots of good things about this blazer, so I hope that it looks as good as I've seen it looking. Super soft twill. Okay, I need reading glasses. <laughs> so this is a nice camel color. It's really lovely. Gold buttons here, which I absolutely love. They give me those Balmain vibes. I think it's on the fitted side. The pockets are real. Wow, the pockets are real. What was this originally? $158 originally with the 40 off. So honestly, I think Express has really fabulous sales. So it's kind of like you should always wait for their big sales because they do that store-wide thing 
all the time and that is definitely the time to stock up and take advantage of the good prices. I think this blazer definitely looks classic, probably something that you can have in your wardrobe for a very, very long time. So I do hope that it looks good because I'm on the hunt for a good camel blazer that has a nice fit to it. Hopefully this checks off all the boxes, so let's see. All right, so here is the blazer on, and from what I thought would be a lot more fitted, it's definitely not. However, I don't think I could size down because it is just right in my shoulders. It's just very, very roomy here, especially when you have it open. And I do not like buttoning my blazers. I prefer them to be open. So I don't think the fit is really quite right for me. I mean, if I did, I mean, that's how it looks. I just don't think it's all that flattering. And unfortunately, this is going to be a no for me. I would consider sizing down, but I just don't think it's going to fit me in the shoulders because I do always have issues with blazers fitting me properly in the shoulders so I do usually have to size up for that reason. Sizing down here would just not be possible. I mean it looks nice when I do this <laughs> but when it's just like this it just does not have any type of shape to it whatsoever and I kind of feel like I mean if they had just kind of like there like that would be a lot better if I would just taper it like that and just kind of you know that just looks a lot more fitted but having all that bulk back there it's just it's just way too bulky, but the construction really is beautiful. So if you wanted to try this, I would definitely suggest it, but just keep in mind that it is very much of a boxy fit, not fitted like I initially thought. So that's too bad. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. So this is what it looks like. It is a sleeveless with a little bit of ruffled frills here. Definitely a polyester. So it's really, really see-through, but it has this black lining underneath. So that helps. And the pattern is like a very kind of florally pattern, but it's very like, it's not a defined floral. So it kind of just looks like petals all over the place. I do like this ruching here. You'll see it better when I'm wearing it most likely. Okay. So here's the dress. I hope you can see it better on with all the detail. It has frilling down here, another little frill here. It has ruching on the side and on this side as well. And the back is open and it has this attached slip to it that helps kind of cover everything up. I think this is a gorgeous dress. I love the length because it is not too mini and not too long either. Just hitting me right above the knees I think is really, really flattering, but I can't say that it's really my style. Yeah, I think it's a little too busy with the pattern. It's just not my taste, but it's gorgeous. It fits beautifully. I mean, I would recommend it if it was your style, but I'm not quite crazy about it for me. I actually showed this in a different express haul that I did a couple of weeks back. I had bought this white dress, which I absolutely loved, but it was a size small, so it was a little too tight on the bodice here. I ended up getting it in the medium, and I think this is going to fit so much better. This is a gorgeous white dress. You have to have white for spring. All right, so here is the white dress. And I am so happy I did size up to the medium because the small, as I said, was a little too small on the bust. So I exchanged it for the medium. And this is much more roomier, a little bit more room to breathe. And I think it just gives me a much better silhouette and much better fit. And I think it's even more flattering than the small was. So that's always something to consider is perhaps if the size that you think you are is just fitting a little too small, size up and that little bit of difference can be so much more flattering on your silhouette. I see women trying to squeeze into small sizes all the time and it's okay to size up. I mean, these numbers, they fluctuate from brand to brand and everyone is different. So don't be hung up on that number. Just go with what fits you the best and what is most flattering for you. That's the most important thing. So anyway, that's my little about sizing um, back to this dress I think it is so flattering I love how long it is I mean I go for either a mini or a maxi I'm not really crazy about anything in between so to have this all the way down to my ankle I just think is so flattering this is a gorgeous dress to take on vacation with you or wear anytime during the summer I think it's perfect and I love pairing it with these camel toned accessories I think it is just a very very elegant look 
I love this dress. Let me know what you think of it. If you want to see more chic and modern fashion from me, I'd love it if you please subscribe and I'll leave you with a video here on the screen to check out next. I'll see you very soon. Thanks again for watching.